Welcome back everybody, my name is Rip Gordon and in today's video we're continuing the tips and tricks tutorial series by going over the first setup mission in the Cayo Perico heist. This of course being the approach vehicle setup mission. But first, as always, if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment, click the thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. Alright, so I've mentioned this before, but I'm kind of doing this backwards. I've recently put out a video on how to complete the Cayo heist and now I'm working on the front end. I've since posted a video on scoping the island for loot, and now today I'm walking through the vehicle setup mission. As a big FYI though, this video will only concentrate on the long fin as a vehicle of choice for this mission. As I've stated many times in the past, if you're just starting on the game and you want to make life easy for yourself, you definitely need to choose the long fin as the vehicle of choice for this heist. Okay, so as is the case with all the Kayo setups, your first goal will be to head to the sub and select the appropriate approach vehicle mission. There's a total of six different approach methods, but again, if you're a newbie, and for the purposes of this video, we'll only be looking at the long fin. As you get more experience with the finale, I would definitely recommend trying the others, as it will break up the usual monotony that comes with running this heist. Alright, so all the long fin missions will be exactly the same. The only difference is the location where you'll need to pick up the boat. If you're a newbie and do not have the Phantom Wedge, no worries. You can still get these missions knocked out without too much headache. However, if your goal is to begin grinding these heists out, which is highly recommended, you definitely want to acquire the Phantom Wedge, or Wedgie as I like to call it, as soon as possible. It makes this mission quicker, easier, and provides copious amounts of entertainment along the way. If you don't have the Wedgie, fear not. You can still complete these missions rather easily. As you're seeing here, your first step is to head to the yellow icon on the map. This is the location of the police station that's holding the boat. As you get closer, Pavel will call you on the phone and tell you that he has some other locations you can travel to to acquire the vehicle that can pull the long fin. There will always be three locations, and typically the two locations that are closer together are where you want to head. The location that is farther away from the first two will usually have gangs, gunfire, and bloodshed. Not ideal if your goal is to get this done quick. So as you're seeing here, the two trucks are literally side by side in a trucking company compound. So simply park as close as you can and choose your preferred vehicle. Typically, the only resistance you'll get here is the possibility of some overweight trucker trying to run you down, as you're seeing here. But again, they're overweight, so yeah, haha, -ha, joke's on them. Once you have the vehicle, that's it. You just head back to the yellow icon. And basically that is the only difference between having a wedgie and not having a wedgie. Remember kids, this is the only time where getting a wedgie is preferred. Alright, so now let's talk about the scenario where you have a phantom wedge. Like I said at the top, there are only three different locations where you'll need to travel. In this case here, we're heading to the Vinewood Police Station, as indicated on the screen and on the minimap. For this location, what I always tend to do is park right about here. I don't park right next to the police station because I've had instances in the past where the police get triggered if you're too close and then it just becomes a big pain. Once on the ground, request your wedgie and wait. Once you've waited for what seems like an eternity, hop in and head to the police station. Now for each of these locations, I have my preferred parking spot that I like to use that helps for alignment when backing in. And for the Vinewood location, that preferred parking spot is right here, right next to the light and the telephone pole. Just head on up onto the grassy part here and align yourself with the trailer that's in the compound behind you. And now for each of these setups, you'll want to do two things. The first, set your waypoint for where you need to go. And for each of these setups, the destination point never changes. It'll always be down by the docks right here. The second thing, if you're a newbie, always replenish your health and armor before backing up. Sometimes it gets a little tricky and you don't want to die, especially after making it this far. Okay, so after that you simply need to back up, connect the trailer, and then leave. I will say though that the Vinewood location is by far the easiest. It's just a straight shot backwards until you connect. The other two locations require a little more turning. Okay, so after you have the trailer, simply head to your waypoint while launching as many vehicles in the air as possible. This is definitely the fun part. But, just a few comments, for those of you performing with the wedgie, don't get overly aggressive. It's very tempting to aim for every vehicle on the road, but remember the main objective here. If you get sideways and end up losing the trailer, which sometimes happens, it's going to take longer and probably get a little frustrating. The last thing I want to mention here is when you're confronted with a police barricade in front of you, never go around it. And when you're in a phantom wedge, that's probably never going to happen, but in the off chance you do, you increase the likelihood of the cops shooting your tires out. Remember, the wedgie does not have bulletproof tires. 
if this does happen, don't worry, you'll still make it. Just slow your roll and make sure you take your time. Okay, so when you get close to the waypoint, this is the first biggest tip. You're going to want to crash through the gate surrounding the docks. I'll show you where to do this in a moment, but always try to avoid driving through the automatic gates which are close by. These gates are trash. They never seem to open when you want them to, and they're freakishly slow. Not a good thing when you're being chased by the cops. Okay, so as you get closer, you'll see a garbage bin here. Always look for this because this is where you'll be turning. Just crash through the gates in front of this bin and you're good to go. Alright, so once through the gates, you can park anywhere here and then just get out. What you want to do is immediately start running towards the ocean, like you're seeing here. Your goal is to continue running to the end of this building, then turning left and continue behind it. Once you're behind the building, you need to pay attention to the minimap. If the cops are not on foot yet, or their cone of vision isn't pointing towards you, you can sometimes clear the wanted level by just simply standing still. If, however, they start advancing towards you, again like you're seeing here, just run over and hide behind this container. Position yourself exactly like I'm doing here, call up your menu and change your style to something different. And then just wait. Changing your style will sometimes decrease the time you're on the wanted level, so always a good practice while you're waiting. After this, just let the cops come. They'll walk around a little and then eventually your wanted level will just go away. Now I want to pause here and go over a couple things. First, is this method guaranteed? No. There are times where I've gotten caught. However, since the Kyle came out, I've probably done hundreds of these setups. PS4, PS5, and now PC. And in all those times, I can honestly say the times I've gotten caught can be counted on one hand. Meaning, it's rare. Second, I know there's other options out there. I think the next most popular option is just letting the cops kill you, then calling your wedgie again and continuing on. But for me, there's a couple drawbacks to this. One, this only becomes an option if you have the Phantom Wedge. If you don't, you'll still need to travel to find another truck to tow the trailer. And two, when you die, Rockstar never positions you in the same spot where you got killed, meaning you'll always have to travel back to the location of the trailer once you get the truck. All in all, the time it takes you to do this will be best case what I'm showing here. Worst case, it's going to take a lot longer. So just some food for thought. All right, let's wrap this up by going over my preferred parking areas for the remaining two long fin locations. Next up, the police station in La Mesa or La Mesa. Potato, potato. If you get this location, what I like to do is park on the center island located right here to call up your wedgie. After waiting around to get the truck, hop in and head for the police station. Now, what I do is park yourself right at the entrance to the station, right about here. After you've parked, place your waypoint in the exact same location on the minimap, make sure your health and armor are maxed out, and begin backing up to the trailer. This one is by far the trickiest. If your backing up skills are lacking, this will be challenging. My biggest tip here is don't try to navigate around any movable objects, i.e. police officers or cop cars. Just drive right through them and aim for the back of the trailer. Once you have the trailer, it's a carbon copy of the last one. Just head to the docks, keep an eye out for the garbage bin, crash through the gate, and then just run and hide. The last location of these missions will be the Vespucci Police Station. For this one, I like to park on the sidewalk near this grassy area here. After requesting the wedgie, it's basically just a straight line drive to the station. And now for this one, I always position the truck on the driveway of the house that has this big deck right here. Again, I found this to be the perfect launching area to begin backing up. Well, once here, just rinse and repeat. Set your waypoint, max out health and armor, and begin backing up. Now as far as difficulty level, this one is probably in the middle of the other two. The biggest pain point here is the gate and the light pole. If you don't have the wedgie, you should be fine. But the drawback here in using the Phantom Wedge is that the huge cone on the front sometimes gets hung up on either of these two obstacles. So just take your time and you should be good to go. From here, same as before. Head to the docks. Locate the garbage bin, crash through the gates, park, get out and run like hell, check to see where the cops are in the minimap, if need be hide behind the container, change your outfit, wait, wait a little more, and you're done. 
pretty quick, pretty easy, and pretty satisfying. So that's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. If you found better ways to complete the long fin approach vehicle mission, by all means, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy, be well, be safe, be mighty, be the one. Oh, maestro.